the add Chris and remove Chris commands. Open the 3D template that was created in article creating template for 3D modeling. Click the right window that you see on the screen. Click the view menu, select viewports and select one viewport. Select the box tool and draw two parallel pipettes as shown on the screen. Select the union tool and create solid object. Select the Smooth Object tool. Click the object and press Enter. This opens the Notice window. Select Create Mesh. You can see result on the screen. The Add Crease command sharpens the edges of selected mesh sub-objects. You can select the Add Crease tool from the dashboard or click the Modify menu, select Mesh Editing and select Crease. There are three methods to use the Add Crease command. The first method – applying crease to the face of 3D Mesh object. Select the Face tool. Select the Add Crease tool. At the CAD prompts, select Mesh sub-objects to crease. Click the face of the Mesh object as shown on the screen and press Enter. At the CAD prompts, specify Crease value. You can type the crease value to set a high smoothing level at which the crease is retained. Or press Enter to select Always option that specifies that the crease is always retained. Press Enter. Press the Escape key. You can see result on the screen. The second method. Applying crease to the edge of 3D mesh object. Select the edge tool. Select the add crease tool. At the CAD prompts, select mesh sub objects to crease. Click the edge of the mesh object as shown on the screen and press Enter. At the CAD prompts, specify crease value. You can type the crease value to set high smoothing level at which the crease is retained. Or press Enter to select Always option that specifies that the crease is always retained. Press Enter. Press the Escape key. You can see result on the screen. The third method applying crease to the vertex of 3D mesh object. Select the vertex tool. Select the add crease tool. At the CAD prompts, select mesh sub-objects to crease. Click the vertex of the mesh object as shown on the screen and press Enter. At the CAD prompts, specify crease value. You can type the crease value to set high smoothing level at which the crease is retained. Or press Enter to select Always option that specifies that crease is always retained. Press Enter. Press the Escape key. You can see result on the screen. The Remove Crease command removes the crease from selected mesh faces, edges or vertex. You can select the Remove Crease tool from the dashboard or click the Modify menu, select Mesh Editing and select Uncrease. Select the Vertex tool. Select the Remove Crease tool. 
AutoCAD prompts select Chris to remove. Click the vertex of the mesh object as shown on the screen and press Enter. Press the Escape key. You can see result on the screen. You can use the same way to apply the Remove Crease command to edge or face of 3D mesh object.